If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the top 10 most overpowered players that you need to mutt today. Now, guys, there's a ton of players that you want to go out and get. There's plenty of players to get. But we're going to be going over the players that I think right now fit the meta per their position right like these are the guys that you need like these are the guys that if you want to compete and dominate people with these are kind of the guys you need. unless you're some competitive player that doesn't need any of these guys i mean that's a separate scenario and more than likely if that's the case you're probably not even clicking on this video but before we get into the video make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course if you want to be shouted out in the poodle squad shout out all you gotta do is like the video comment down below poodle squad and of course be subbed to the channel today's poodle squad shout out goes up to joe w shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every day now before we get into the overpowered players i want to get something clear i have overpowered players all right these players are not price related these are just the players i think you should get that's it like regardless of price i also do other videos going over overrated and some other stuff based on more price and stuff but these are the players that regardless of price i think you should get so let's head on over to this list guys let's start with number 10. now number 10 might surprise some of you guys and i'll go over kind of why my own personal experiences with some of these guys now i'll go over a few reasons because the thing is people don't always comprehend why certain players aren't as good or like you know reasoning so my first guy on this list now i should have actually sold them because he's dropping in price quite a bit jamar chase Jamar Chase is going to land on my list as top 10 most overpowered, but the 10th one. Why is he so low, even though he's the fastest wide receiver in the game? If you guys play with Jamar, you do learn pretty fast that he can't really do much besides run a streak. Because this game isn't as like last year where you could just do a drag to him and cut it upfield. Like his change of direction isn't exactly the greatest, right? It's an 88. I mean, it's good, but his agility in the 86, he has low route running, which means that his slants and everything are super slow for him to get open on people like... He can really only run like a deep crosser, deep post streak, which is good enough, but he's not a complete receiver. I mean, by any means, I actually do prefer using my Brandon Marshall. My Brandon Marshall burns people more downfield too, because he typically gets the release on a cornerback. Um, Jamar Chase is good. He's a great, he's a great receiver, great speed. But as soon as we get an upgrade with anyone close to him, he's off the market. Like that's it. As soon as Tyreek Hill or any wide receiver gets that speed at their new overall 91, 90 ish overall with good route running. That's it. Jamar's pretty much done. He's just there because he's just uber fast and no one's close right now. Or like no one is good enough, right? But otherwise, Jamar Chase is on this list. He's still he's still insane, but he's not exactly like number one overall because he's gonna be phased out. He's at the end. He's getting phased out pretty soon as soon as we get some more guys at that speed spot. Um next Yes, next I actually put ahead of him. You guys may actually be surprised by this one as well. And I'll go over why I like him more. And that actually does include... This one's actually a price reasoning too. Although this video isn't about price reasoning. But for all you guys who do watch, who care about the price reasoning, you, I can give you that uh, theory as well. So coming down, Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill's only 208 these days. So he's actually cheaper than Jamar Chase. But I'll go over why in a second, what I think here. Powered up and chemed up, he's only one speed less than Jamar Chase. Remember that, only one speed less. But... He has, and he'll have a 90 change of direction, which Jamar doesn't have. He'll also be powered up, which Jamar isn't. He'll get some abilities, and he gets 90 deep route running threshold, which means he'll be way better at streaks, deep crossers, deep posts, deep everything, right? Deep outs. So, why would you take him for one less speed as well? Remember, guys, Jamar Chase costs about 250k right now, and he has no he has no future. He has no more ceiling, right? Eventually, that that price is gonna drop at some point. Tyree Kill, on the other hand. You can get, you could power him up for pretty cheap right now, and then you can go ahead and take your 87 to 80 overall power pass and put it into him. Tyreek Hill is essentially a borderline free card you can get right now just through leveling up. So I'd much rather have that for one less speed, but way better route running and some better catching and better agility and juking with the way this game plays, in my personal opinion. Next, we're going to have another rookie premiere on the list here, Kyle Pitts. I actually really love Kyle Pitts. The only reason he's at eight on this list is because of a new tight end that did just come out today. Otherwise, he'd probably be like my top four. I love this card. Kyle Pitts has been the MVP of my mutt season thus far. His speed's been crazy, right? He's been like his, the way he just destroys linebackers. No one has fast linebackers like that right now. And even if they do, he just, even if a linebacker is the same speed as a tight end, I mean, he's six foot six. They don't animate. Like it's just, it's just hard. It's hard. Uh, he has good catching, good enough route running. I mean, like, again, I prefer a 90, which is why he dropped down because a, a new one did just get 90, which I will go over. But he's crazy good. I love this Kyle Pitts card. I, I, hope, I hope Kyle Pitts has a great rookie season for a few reasons. First off, I'm a big fan of him in real life. 
second i would love to see some more upgrades on this card i think it's just i think it's such a good card i i like i think kyle pitt's gonna be a great madden card for years to come i really hope i really really hope he has a great great rookie season and he has a good career so we can keep getting more kyle pitts cards because it's exciting to have more than one tight end a few years ago all we had was kelsey cards right that was it then Kittle came onto the scene, and Kittle was a new meta tight end. Then Waller came, and then we're like, okay, Waller and Kittle. Remember, Kelsey's not really usable from a month standpoint, so it's really just Waller and Kittle. They've recently been killing Kittle's speed, though, so it's been pretty much we just wait for a Waller upgrade or Engram upgrade. Engram sucks. I don't even want to start it on him, so he's always hurt. So pretty much just Waller. If we can get some Pitts and some Waller, and we can get a few more tight ends going that are pretty good, we could have some more tight ends to focus on. We won't have to wait all year for Waller upgrades, I actually would prefer. So Daniel Jones is my number seven on the list. Daniel Jones, probably the best quarterback in Mutt, in my opinion. Uh, powered up and chemmed up. I have him. He gets above 90 throw power, which is just great for a Daniel Jones card with 86 speed, which makes him one of the fast quarterbacks in the game. Plus, he's pretty damn accurate considering what else he can do. And he's just, he's overall good. So he has some good ball carrier vision. He has some good throw under pressure. His throw on the runs in 87. His accuracy is all mid high 80s. I personally really do like this Daniel Jones card. His release isn't bad. He's a field general. I believe he gets set feet lead. Great, great card. Will he get phased out pretty soon? Probably, but I really do like him. Next, we have the new left end from yesterday, which is going to be Montez Sweat, who's absolutely crazy. Montez Sweat, 87 speed, coming in at 6th on my list. 90 Excel, 85 block shot, 89 finesse. But all you got to worry about is the speed. Powered up and chemmed up with the strategy card. You could potentially get into a 90 speed with 91 Excel, right? That's just absolutely crazy for an end. Not to mention, he also gets the finesse move threshold at 90. He's gonna be one of the he's probably gonna be he's probably the best pass rusher in the game just off the fact that he can get to the quarterback in a quarter second, as well as it's just crazy. And the markets, by the way, is crashing a little bit as you guys can see here. Um, I'm just noticing it as I'm looking pretty closely right now. The market's crashing a bit. I probably should have sold some of my cards here. I don't I don't know what caused this uh necessarily. I mean, I know we have some stuff coming out. We've oh campus campus uh campus heroes. That's that's gonna that'll probably do it. But um moving on, we got Saquon Bark. He's actually pretty cheap as well. 185 here. Saquon Barkley, 88 speed, 88 excel, 89 agility, 86 carrying, 88 change of direction, 87 break tackle. He's the meta back right now. He weighs 233 pounds, which makes him the fastest and heaviest back combination in the game. Plus, he has agility, good change of direction, break tackle, decent enough catching. He also can juke, spin, stiff arm, truck. He's, he's like the most well-rounded back in the game. Plus, he comes built in with weight and some agility and speed and everything else. Next, we have... Revis at number four, which is actually the best cornerback in the game. Darrell Revis, I have him on my squad. He's super, super good. I really like this Darrell Revis card, 89 overall. What I like about him is powered up and chemmed up. He has 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 press, 90 zone, 90 man. If you have all your strategy cards and everything on him, he will have all 90s across the board. Five foot eleven. He's decent. He's decently athletic, like um, kind of like a like a baby uh Sanders. He gets the 88 jumping. He also will get 90 change of direction. A little bit of juke he's pretty good he's just super well rounded which is what i really like about him and he's fast he's not like one of those bummy slow corners next on the list now we're gonna kick it up into the 90 overall so like i said I, earlier i really like which is part of the reason why jamar was so low is because i liked hill better in the speed position and i really love this brandon marshall card brandon marshall is an absolute beast 280k for brandon marshall right now he did drop a little bit in price too 88 speed 89 jumping 90 catching 87 catch in traffic 90 spec 88 short route running, 90 medium route running, and 91 deep route running. He gets all the route running thresholds. He will get pretty much all the catching thresholds. He will get an 89 speed. He's six foot five. He also gets stiff arm, juke. Like he can, he's agile. He can make you miss. He can jump over you and catch it. And he can out route run you and drop you. It's just a crazy route. It's a crazy car combination overall. It's not something you see that often. Next, we got Ed Reed. Ed Reed's actually, they're all getting pretty cheap right now. Ed Reed. 90 overall ed reed um what i like about him is that he gets 91 zone threshold he gets 90 speed 91 excel 90 play rick best user in the game has some hip power as well he's 5 foot 11 87 jumping 78 catching ed reed's just the ultimate ball hawk he's borderline like a little baby sanders as well i love having ed reed on my team he's my favorite user i move him all around the formation and now for the number one guy on the overpowered rankings list the new darren waller ltd that did drop today now this waller is not out just yet but he is dry the time you see this video he will be out 88 speed this is the new ltd darren waller for the thursday ltds i really like card art's cool i like it some people are indifferent about it i think it's perfectly fine but 88 speed for darren waller 67 strength 91 catching 88 catch and traffic 90 spec 91 shore running 88 medium route running and 70 run blocking guys powered up with 
the correct strategy cards he will have the 90 route running thresholds for short and medium which makes him just absolutely crazy he'll have the catch and traffic catching and spec catch thresholds 70 run blocking is decent enough and he goes ahead and gets 89 speed plus strategy cards which gets him probably to a 90 this card is the best head in the game. Probably going to be the most dominant offensive player you see on the game right now. It's just absolutely crazy. I'm surprised they made him. I'm surprised they gave us another tight end because we just got Pitts and Kittle. But I kind of saw this coming as well because I also said recently, I was like, knowing EA, they'll try to be funny about it and give us some players to kill the, like, the Jamar Chase and the Kit Pitts because they were too good. But yeah, he's good. I really like this card. But guys, it's better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you think I missed someone on this list, comment them down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn that noti bell. If you need coins, pick up any of these players. Heading over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.